So now this is kind of an unusual circuit. I just came across this uh, diagram and figured uh, we would cover this circuit. Um, I think it's kind of an interesting one. But in any case, uh, we actually have ground right here. It's not the negative side of the power supply. I just made a virtual ground. So we just decide this is where our zero volt reference point is. We have a couple parallel LEDs. Neither one is lit right now because the other end over here is not connected to anything. It's uh, floating in between these two spots. Uh, the LEDs though, they are facing in opposite directions for a reason. One's going to light up when we apply uh, power to the output. So we got the red LED. We're working with 10 volts, but I only have 220 ohms protecting the two LEDs. Now it's only protecting one because the other one's uh, in the direction where it's not going to conduct. Uh, blue one is reverse bias right now. Red LED is uh, forward bias, so it is lit up. And um, we only got half the supply voltage here. So now the positive side there basically becomes plus 5 volts. And uh, I moved the jumper to the uh, negative side of the power supply. Right there, the blue LED lights up. So we flipped it over there. We could think of this as negative 5 volts in relationship to our virtual ground right here. So instead of uh, 10 volts, uh, 10 up there and 0 volts here, we have zero volts there, plus five volts over there, and then uh, minus five volts over here in relationship to our makeshift ground, which is half of the supply voltage because we have an op amp here wired as a voltage follower. So out of this 10 volts, um, we're gonna get five volts here. They're equal value resistors across the uh, 10 uh, volt supply. Um, so we got five volts. So it's uh, 5 volts lower than what we got there, and uh, 5 volts higher than what we got there. Ultimately, setting that same voltage here because it's wired as a voltage follower. And uh, that's a little jump. It's going over um, that wire right there. And uh, they're not connected. And uh, so the output wants to be like the non-inverting input compared to the inverting air input. And uh, so whatever voltage we set to the non-inverting input, the output will be that same voltage because it has to be. The output's going to raise or lower as needed to get the voltage at the inverting input the same as the non-inverting input. Stuff that we've covered in recent videos. And we'll take a closer look. So we got 10 volts there, our voltage divider for 5 volts to the plus, the uh, non-inverting input. And then uh, we got our output, it's coming back. There's a jump over there, those are not uh, connected. And uh, so we got our negative feedback, which is direct negative feedback. And uh, when we have the switch right there to the uh, positive side of uh, 10 volts right there, it's actually five volts higher than what we have here. Because remember, that's half and that sets that to half the voltage. So you can see the current path right there. Uh, keep in mind, current's going that way. Um, when you think of positive to negative, through that uh, resistor. Now, if we flip this down here, that's the negative side of the voltage that's more negative than this. So current will flow when you think of positive to negative that way, right there. And uh, so uh, current can either be going that way through that uh, resistor or this way uh, through that resistor. But either way, um, it's a really easy way to be able to alternate current if that is your goal when you just have a DC power supply. And we'll look at the actual uh, circuit. So um, this is the other op amp. We should wire that as a voltage follower with uh, the uh, plus to ground so that the output is basically trying to connect ground just to stabilize things. But uh, we're okay uh, not doing that. I haven't had a problem. Um, so I'm not going to wire that up. It may get more confusing. We got our voltage divider to the plus and uh, the minus there to the output. Of course, the long lead, the anode of the blue LED to the output, whereas the short lead the cathode of the red LED is to the output, but they both come to the resistor, the other end. So we only need a 220 ohm resistor because we're only dealing with five volts, even though we have 10 volts at the rail, which obviously you can't see unless you look at the power supply and see 10 volts right there. So we should have um, a little bit more current through the red LED because um, it doesn't drop as much voltage as the blue LED. And now we're going to measure uh, voltage. So I'll set the voltage meter to V for voltage. It's auto ranging. If you have to set a number, set it to a number higher than the voltage you expect to measure. So we're measuring, uh, remember, 
we're considering the output ground right there, um, the output of the op amp. And uh, when we put the jumper, we're coming up here and we'll get a voltage difference of about plus five volts, as you can see there. And then now when we go to the negative one, in relationship to ground there, we got a negative voltage of about five volts. So that is why I called it positive and negative. You can see it with the multimeter right there, if it was confusing. Um, if what I explained before didn't make sense. You know, it's a little odd. You got a negative voltage now. But um, not all circuits are just simply positive and uh, negative. Sometimes you got a zero volt reference point. Uh, some power supplies include one. This particular one does not. In fact, I don't have any that do. Um, but yeah, there's a zero volt reference point and then the uh, plus is whatever voltage you set above that uh, zero volt reference point. And then the other one, the negative one, um, the black one is the uh, negative voltage. And um, so that is commonly used when you're using a DC power source, but you want to be able to get current to flow um, in either direction when it comes to wherever uh, ground is, the zero volt reference point. So, hope that made sense. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.